Hello everybody, it is a chilly day in Florida today, but it's sunny, pretty blue sky, so still very nice for it chilly over hot. So today we have a really fun project, something uh, that I've been needing to do for a while, I've been putting off for a while, and uh, I'm really excited to get it done. I'm really excited to do it. I like projects like this. Oh, I guess I gotta drop the car down to show you guys what I'm talking about. Uno momento, por favor. So today's project, like I said, is, a, is an exciting one and one we've been putting off. This is something that <laughs> I've been meaning to get done before I ever drove the car, especially before I ever drifted the car. We still didn't do it, still didn't get it done. So let me show you what it is. So I wanted to keep my stock handbrake, which is kind of funny because now I have aftermarket rear calipers and I can't use it anyway. But the whole point is to make a queen handbrake setup, retain the stock handbrake and not have anything in my way over here. So this is what I came up with. We've got this giant hole, which we had to enlarge for the shifter, the new shifter location. So this plate covers the old hole, has a hole for the shifter now, and then has these tabs on it right here, which would be welded on, and then a handle coming up. That would be the handbrake handle, rod running back, and then our master cylinder mounted back here. So our lines and everything are all behind the driver's seat, master, etc. All we have up here is a handle, and then I've got carpet to cover this and do like a new shift boot. So it'll just be like one piece of carpet with a shift boot, and then these two little tabs sticking up, and then a handle. So super clean handbrake setup is basically what I'm going for. That's kind of the rough plan. I drew it up and printed it a few times to try to get like a solid, solid design to send to Grafton or AJ to cut out of steel, like have them cut it on one of their tables. Uh, but I was always like a little bit off with a hole here or the shape there, just, just a hair. It's kind of a tough thing to measure. So I was thinking about it and I'm like, man, I have a ton of leftover aluminum. I have just like a huge sheet of it for when I did my expansion tank. I can always use more seat time on the TIG wall there, especially with aluminum. I figured why not try to make it ourselves? Make it out of aluminum. You guys know how much I love my TIG welding projects or just welding projects in general. They're, they're really my favorite because you're making something. So I figured why not? Let's try it. Aluminum's pretty easy to cut, so we should be able to cut the shape out ourselves and drill the holes and whatnot without too much hassle. So. Might as well give it a shot, right? Just measure the front and the back and then just cut a triangle plate with a circular saw and then start whittling away at it with the bandsaw and the jigsaw and kind of just molding it to fit. Sometimes with projects like this, it's easy to overthink it before you even get started and you'll spend an hour and a half trying to figure out what you're gonna do and then it still doesn't work out and then you're frustrated because you're like, I just spent all this time measuring and it's not right. Like, just get started. Just start cutting stuff, start cutting some more, fitting it, etc., and you'll figure it out. You'll make it work. A pit bike ride to get some coffee first. Need coffee, need to alive, nice day, need the pit bike ride. You know, they all go hand in hand. It just works out, you know what I'm saying? It just works out. <laughs> nice little cruise, you know? My muffler broke and this thing's way louder and more obnoxious than normal. Got my coffee, time to get to work. Okay, main plate shape is cut. We got it all cleaned up to match the edges. It was way easier than trying to measure and draw all these little curves. Just kind of, okay, it needs a little more. Trim it up, get it right where it needs to be. Pretty happy with it. Holes lined up perfect because I used a uh, shift boot. And I just measured how far over this hole started, evened it up, drilled the holes. And uh, yeah, so the main base of the plate is essentially done. We still need to cut the shifter hole. Yeah, that's going to be a thing. Um, <laughs> Keep forgetting about that, doesn't matter. Sat in the car, figured out where I wanted the handle to be, both aesthetically and within reach. Uh, so this is about where it needs to be. So we can start cutting out our tabs, 
to weld on and then figuring out how we're gonna build a handle. My thoughts for the handle are our cut strips out, weld like three of them together so it ends up being about that thick and that be the handle. And be fun, more welding practice, out of aluminum, wider, uh, should be sturdy. The only thing is how to do a handle on top because my original plan was to do like I did with the vet and weld threads to the top so I can thread a bolt or, or not a bolt, a shift knob on it um, and then have like a knob and a knob. I think it looks clean. Uh, however, you know, aluminum, I'd have to find like an aluminum bolt, which I'm sure is possible. Uh, I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure on how exactly I wanted to go about that. So regardless, tabs, handle are the next steps. tabs done i'm going to clamp them together and drill our hole for this our handle i'm still kind of unsure if i want to run four pieces thick or three i don't know i think i'll go with four it's a nice hand hold we're going to try to make this look nice once we weld it together we'll ground the top off a lot of welding it's a lot of practice if i don't like it make a different handle so yeah that's the plan hasn't been too bad at all i have been doing what i told you guys not to do and kind of overthinking it i'm like oh okay well Am I gonna do it this way or that way? Or should I should I do it that way or this way? And then like 10 minutes later, 20 minutes later, I haven't done anything. I'm like, dude, just do it. Just do something and you'll figure it out. <laughs> anyway, procrastinating. Gonna get back to work. It's kind of chilly. I might start a fire. A little, little, little nipply. staggering the welds and then that didn't look very good and then I weaved it and it came out okay in some spots you can kind of see it like it's not bad it's not good though it's not like I'm so proud of the way that's welded <sighs> so I'm debating but I think I'm just gonna grind it down and give it like a nice clean look all the way around which is originally what i was intending when i went decided to weave it i was like i'll just put a bunch of metal on there and then smooth it out i think that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do that They're a little off because I just kind of took what I could get in terms of tacking because the back one did not want to tack. Uh, but the welds came out good. After welding this thing, not being able to get a clean looking weld to save my life, it's nice to get a nice, clean, consistent weld. <laughs> so it's going to go a little something like that to drill a hole in this. Probably drill multiple holes for uh, lightweight purposes. So then a bolt will go through there, and then we got to build some sort of clevis 
to bolt on here and then a rod going back. And then as far as where the master cylinder bolts in the car, I'm gonna make like a sandwich plate for the bottom. So I'll through bolt it with like a big plate on the bottom to distribute the load. So tomorrow, gotta run to the store, bolt for this, bolt for that stuff, and then stuff to make the rod going back and the clevis. Oh yeah, I'm gonna see what they have at the store. Uh, and see what we can do. But all in all, we made okay progress today. I was like, today I'm gonna go hard, I'm gonna work on the car all day, and I'm gonna knock all of this stuff out. This whole handbrake project's gonna be done. We're gonna do it, and uh, very minimal now, done. But that's okay, we can pick it back up tomorrow. Handbrake build day two. We do not have time to slack today, we do not. We've gotta get straight to work and work consistently and just go for it and not think about what we're gonna do, what we're not gonna do, how we're gonna do it. We have a plan, we're running with it, we're getting it done. So, uh, first off, drilling a bunch of holes. That's what we gotta do. Luckily, like I said, it's aluminum. Aluminum is very easy to work with as far as drilling and cutting and stuff, so it will not be that bad. If I were to have to drill, like eight holes through this and it was steel, it would take me like an hour. Whereas with aluminum, it might take me five, 10 minutes. So much, much better. Just to make it look cooler and then obviously to mount it down here, we need to drill probably two holes up here, two holes down here so we can rivnut nut those in. And then I got all my hardware to mount the handle, make the clevis. This is gonna be our rod going back, which we'll weld thread to uh, and all that stuff. So let's get to it, brothers. This is the basic premise. We've got our lower bolt with our nylon washers that kind of help keep it easy to pull, but upright. And then I had this spherical joint that I got when I was making the vet handbrake and I never ended up using it. So this, I couldn't find a piece of all thread or really anything, any bolt for this. So we're gonna take the rod, it's like the perfect size to slide up in there and we're just gonna weld it on at this end and then the other end we'll have our adjustment. We're gonna be using this nameless performance handbrake. I uh, took the handle off. We're gonna just be mounting this part in the back like that. This piece of all thread that we're gonna weld to the end of the rod itself and then we're gonna weld to the rod that goes into the master cylinder. Pretty much the only way I could do it, I couldn't find a thread, an all thread that was the same as this or a coupler that was the same thread as this because I was just gonna get a bolt and use that, but I couldn't even find a bolt that matched up at Lowe's. We're improvising, welding this to this, this to this, um, and then we can start figuring out length, and then we'll weld the rod into here once we cut it to the length. But before we do that, we need to make sure we get this mounted and know where it's gonna be so we don't mess up cutting the rod and make it too short or whatever. So first off though, let's get this stuff welded together. It's gonna be a little tricky. The hardest part of this is just getting it tacked like center and just mainly just getting a good tack on it because there's not a good way to hold it. So we'll figure it out though, I have faith. This is our rod with our heim joint and then our threads. In hindsight, I should have made the threads longer and put a jam nut on them. I just didn't want them to be long because they're gonna be the weak link, they're the smallest point. Um, Cause this is a decently thick solid bar. So I didn't want them bending. That's why I made them so short. If we have an issue with it, we'll revisit it. We got some decent, ow, it's hot. Got some decent color out of this. Welding stainless to mild steel, you never get crazy good color out of it, but came out okay. 
not bad at all. That one looks pretty good. Ta-da! So I'm just letting this cool down, then we can throw it in, make sure everything works together properly, but I think we're good. I was gonna through bolt the master cylinder bracket, but since it backs up to this shelf here, um, and it's not, it like, I just don't think it's gonna be a problem. So I rib nutted it. If, again, if this is a problem, we'll just pull the rib nuts out, bolt a plate on the bottom, no big deal. So I think it'll be good though, cause it, it's solid. So, all right, almost done. Take a look at that. Check it out, guys. Came out nice and clean. From here, all you see is the handle and the rod sticking back. Like I said, we have carpet that's gonna cover this, so you won't see any of the plate or anything. It'll be those two slits. Shift boot, we're gonna be removing the factory handbrake since we can't use it anymore. Um, so it'll just be a nice piece of carpet with the handle up and the rod going back. Should be very clean, very sleek. Let's see how it feels. Yeah, that is in a good spot, man. Really happy with how this came out. Really happy with how it looks. Not in the way at all. I can get full throw out of it without like my arm going past the chair or something weird like that. Seems super sturdy. I mean, we really won't know until we, you know, have the brakes hooked up and bled and everything. But speaking of that, I still need to order my lines. Now that I have the master cylinder placed, I can measure for my lines to go back to the second calipers. We got the second calipers in. I have the carpet, I need to order a shift boot, um, and we can wrap this thing up. So for today, that's all the progress we can make. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. I will see you guys tomorrow. We got plenty more work to do. Uh, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. Goodbye, guys.